Hey, this is Steven from LegitBC, and uh, today we're going to look at the SuperPy benchmark. And this, I believe, is a single thread uh, benchmark for calculating a certain number of digits of pi, uh, decimal places of pi. So uh, here we're inside the software, and um, so yeah, this is the Windows version. So well, basically the only thing that you pick to uh, select what you want to do, here you can see the little settings of what I've done already and the speed that I've calculated at. So what you're going to want to do is you go to calculate and then you pick how many digits of pi you want and you can see I already did 4 million and got 55 seconds. So let's try uh, like 8 million. Okay and then it gives you a little start screen and you say go and then it starts uh, taking off. So uh, while I was working on that, um, so this is a good benchmark for um, if you want to stress test. Uh, like I said, it's only a single core. There are some uh, multiple cores and multiple core software out there. That's where I'll do. Uh, I'll try to find one for you guys next week to show you guys a multiple core um, version of calculating pi and uh, one that tells you how many seconds and things like that. So this. Uh, a uh, program like this you could use as a benchmark or stress test and as you can see basically you have one friend or one person do this number the same number 8 million and you do 8 million and it tells you the exact number of seconds you finish each, each loop and how long it takes you to get to the end and uh, by using that uh, you could compare your results and see who's got the faster processor or you could even use it to uh, determine which processor you want to buy for your own rig by looking on uh, online forums or websites looking looking for the results of different types of tests. And of course it, this, pro, uh, this program would have been a lot better if it had uh, multi-threading. Like I said, I don't think it does. Uh, it only has uh, one, so you can only have one thread, one core on it at the, at the same time. And it's not hyper-threading, so you can't have one core, two threads working on it. I believe you can only have one thread. And uh, so, yeah, we're still working on that. It'll probably take about uh, maybe three minutes. Um, what else? So, yeah, it's a pretty uh, basic uh, benchmark here. And uh, it's pretty quick to download. I think it's only like maybe a two, three megs or something. So it's a really quick uh, one to play around with and see how fast you can go through each uh, iteration and uh, pick a different amount of uh, digits of pi and see how quick you could calculate that. So there you go. So we got two minutes, 4.5 seconds. And uh, you can see some of the other ones I did. I don't know why that one's got a globe next to it. Yeah, anyways, um, so you can see that it, uh, it doubled, it, uh, it's a little more than doubled, and uh, yeah. So, this has been the Super Pi uh, Benchmark and Stress Test. Next week I'll look for one that allows uh, multi-core and hyper-threading, and uh, show you guys that one. So, uh, this has been Steven from the GPC, and uh, thanks for watching my benchmark video. If you like this video, please subscribe for others like it, and uh, thanks for watching.